So, Dagan, in the one o'clock hour with Jose, we're going to be talking about Europe's problems, obviously, a lot about Greece, why the real problems actually may be with Germany, France, and even Spain. He's here in D.C. trying to get some traction, as he has been for so long, meeting with presidents, past presidents, leaders saying Social Security as it is is not going to be there for you and I. But what about the problems overseas and in Europe? Here's what Jose Panera had to say. You're absolutely right, Brian. Uh, Greece is the opening act of the huge crisis of the welfare state in, in Europe. Uh, after Greece, that of course we know has huge budget deficit, huge debt, uh, runaway government spending. So Greece will either default or be bailed out by Germany and France, but that will only prolong the agony. And then after that, you have the terrible problem in other southern European countries, the so-called club med countries like Spain, Portugal, Italy. And eventually this will come up to France and to Germany. You see, Europe is based on a welfare state that is simply not sustainable. And the huge problem is that they have also a monetary union, the euro, so many years ago I wrote a paper called Will the Pension Time Bomb in Europe Sink the Euro? And that's what's happening in Greece, you see, because the way out for Greece will be to get out of the Euro, eventually devalue the currency, default on the debt, reduce benefits internally by inflation. That will eventually produce, of course, enormous social and political upheaval, but at least it's a way out. But within the Euro, Greece cannot do that. So they will have either to increase taxes even more, countries that have 40, 50 percent of GDP in taxes, or eventually reduce their benefits. And there will be strikes. And uh, you see, historian Ferguson says that there will be blood in the streets. You're talking about Neil Ferguson. Neil Ferguson has written a paper saying there will be blood in the streets in Europe, you see, in five, ten years, not tomorrow morning. Because what they have done is total fiscal irresponsibility. And they are not recognizing can, the fact. Can they raise tax? We know the very high tax burdens that Europeans already face. And that, and that so many Europeans avoid that. They move, they hide their money, right? We learned in Greece that maybe one out of every three pa taxpayers isn't a taxpayer. They're hiding it. How, how can you raise taxes? And if you do, isn't that just going to slaughter an already slowing a Greek, you know, European's own economic exactly. economy? No, you are totally right. Taxes are already so, so high. The, the, bright, the best and the brightest of the European, especially the young people, the entrepreneurial people, uh, go away. You see, are voting with their feet. They are leaving the high tax countries in Europe. So, if they increase even more taxes, that will damage the, 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 the poor, the, the people who are not mobile, the workers. But the really entrepreneurial people will get away. And what we will have, Brian, is age wars. You see, the, the young people will try to go to the black market economy. Will, they will emigrate. They will try to under declare income. They will not be willing to pay these huge, huge taxes in order to But how to do you solve it? Because every time any European government tries to raise retirement ages, cut back on benefits, you have general strikes. You've got threats from unions. Yes. How can they do it? Well, the day of reckoning is arrived. You see, when you have been irresponsible for decades, the, the, the time will come for a, a leader, a, a Churchill, to tell the truth to the people and to say we have been living beyond our means, so we either cut down spending, and that is really the way it should be done, or, or, or we will have to raise taxes to levels that we will never have growth again. So that will be the first. You will literally be working to support the retired. Exactly. So, so basically, well, the, 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 there was a journalist, you see, who, who said that soon in, in Germany, a, 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 every worker will have to pay 50% of their taxes to finance the retired. So he said, in, jokingly, he said, maybe we can eliminate the pension system and simply uh, make every worker a sort of a slave to one retiree. So at the end of the month, you go to the home of one retiree and give him half your salary, you see? Uh, and you don't have even the ministry. You simply pay away half of well, the then salary. Well, at least the government is not involved. Well, the government is not involved. It's just the direct course, transfer. Yeah, but it will be a rebellion. You see, the young people will not be willing to but pay. But isn't that that's what you said is coming anyway, right? So it's coming so anyway. Is it as simple, is the answer as simple as raising retire? In France, you can retire at 60, if not earlier, right? They Certain government be. workers can retire in their late 40s. Oh. Should they, can they just raise the retirement age to 70? Would that solve the problem? That once, boom. That will diminish uh, enormously the problem, but at the end of the day, 
it cannot be solved that way because people will one way or another find ways to pressure and to get a special treatment because of uh, a, a hard work or whatever. I believe the only long-term solution is to free uh, yourself from the legacy of the Bismarckian unfunded pay-as-you-go pension system and go to a system based on personal responsibility. You save every month for 40 years in order to pay your health and pension bills once you do not work. That is common sense, Brian. See, the Bismarckian system, the system even that you have in the U.S., is non-common sense. Politicians defining the benefits of other people. So everyone basically asks for more and more and more, and they want to pay less and less and less. More for less. That is the name of the game. And everyone is playing the game today in the Western world. You have to completely change the dynamic and return to the time when you save for old age, you work hard, you put a nest egg. Now, you have to have a safety net for the poor. I am totally for that. But the poor are 10, 15, 20 percent, not 100 percent of the population. While in Europe, you see everyone is getting these huge benefits from the welfare state, and they are not paying for those benefits. So they are increasing the debt, and they are postponing the agony, the time when the Titanic will hit the iceberg. And that will be a social, economic, and political tragedy in Europe. Thank you.